Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So today we're gonna see the calculation of a building and the dynamic analysis of a building. But before I start, if you're interested in civil engineering and learning, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will be a great help for you. So today we're gonna do this tutorial here, the free vibration and earthquake analysis of a building. So as usual, uh, these types of tutorials are for advanced uh, for advanced people and not for uh, beginners in Plexus. If you're a beginner, I have a set of tutorials that can help you. But this one is for uh, is an advanced tutorial. So it's an advanced tutorial in Plexus and in Dynamic. In order for you to understand this tutorial, you should understand the difference between a free vibration and earthquake. A free vibration is a for is a is the vibration due to a force that we've put on something and we've removed it in this case we're gonna put a force on the building and remove it and we're gonna see the earthquake analysis so these are there's two types of calculation in the free vibration we will use the viscous boundaries condition this option is suitable for problem where the dynamic source is inside the mess as I, as I told you there's a dynamic source which will be a force we've put it and removed it for the earthquake, we're gonna uh, use, uh, you're gonna model it as for a prescribed displacement. So let's start. This is the, uh, this is the building. It's a five-floor building. I'm gonna leave a copy of this PDF in the comment section, uh, in in the description of the video, so uh, you can download it and use it to draw the Lexus uh, model. So this is the geometry Now we're going to define the stratigraphy. This is the table for the stratigraphy as you can see the model for the material is hardening soil So as for the hardening soil, I've already made a tutorial and Talked about uh, in details about the hardening soil. So I'm not going to talk a lot about it uh, If you need anything you can rewatch the other videos. So as you know in the hardening soil uh, there will be a, a decline in the shear modulus. These are the graphs. I'm not going to talk about them as I've made several videos about this topic. So now we're going to define the structural element. Before, we can see the stratigraphy here. These are the materials. We can see that they are hardening soil. <coughs> then we're going to start in the structure. So for the structure, we've modeled these as plates. These also as plates and these as uh, lines then then we've made them node to node anchor to represent uh, the columns so these are the plates here we've assigned two different materials the material for the building and for the basement as we've added a, a additional weight for these materials we can see the parameters here for the column, the node to node, and node to node anchor. Then we've created a line, a, a we've created two lo two loads, a line load and a prescribed displacement. So what's the difference? This line load will be used in the free vibration analysis. We're gonna put this uh, force and we're gonna remove it. And for the earthquake, we're going to do it as a prescribed displacement. So this is the prescribed displacement. And these are here just for the soil band boundaries. As you can see, we've added interfaces here and here because these are under the, under the soil. So uh, we can see the surface prescribed displacement. This is dynamic multiplier here. I'm gonna add it one in order for you to see. So this is the dynamic multiplier. We've added them from a table. This is the uh, the the displacement to the uh, due to the earthquake. You can see it here. We've uh, entered it with a data sheet, and this is it for the model link of uh, of the building. <coughs> 
So we've created our mesh. There is no flow condition, and notice stage construction. So here, there will be two different analysis: the free vibration and the seismic analysis. For the initial phase, there is no building. In the phase one, we've activated the building without the load. In phase two, we've activated this load here, and in phase three, we've removed it in order to start the free vibration analysis. And this is phase four where we've put the prescribed displacement. As for the calculation type, it's dynamic. We've reset the displacement to zero. Same thing here in the phase three, but we've put the dynamic here, the dynamic interval to five seconds, and here we've put it to twenty because the seismic analysis will have a longer time. You can see all the details here. How we've made all the phases. I'm gonna leave a copy of this PDF. Now let's see the results. So if you go to the results, usually in 3D, if you want to see displacement, it's better to do a section of our model. I've already did this in previous videos. So let's draw a graph. I'm gonna select new points. These are the phases here. I'm gonna select project and node here. I'm gonna select dynamic time. And here I'm gonna select the total displacement UX. I'm gonna select OK. I'm gonna remove phase four. Okay, so this is phase four. Here it's the dynamic time. Okay, so we double click here and we add a curve from current project. So we're gonna add a second point, which will be this point. We're gonna use the displacement in the x direction also. I'm gonna add another curve. For the point 82, same, and also I'm gonna add a curve for the last point, which is the soil. I'm gonna take out phase 3 for all the phases in order for us to see the general picture because, as I said, the phase 4 will have a longer time. Okay, so as we can see here, it's the soil. There's no displacement in the soil. This is the top of the building. This is the mid of the building. And this is a lower point in the building. We can see the displacement. As you can see that the higher displacement is on the top of the building. And this is true because the, uh, it's the force is also on the top of the building. And usually the displacement is higher in the top. So this is the free vibration. So now I'm going to... See the vibration due to the seismic analysis. I'm gonna take out phase three and select phase four. So now we're gonna see the displacement due to the seismic force. Here we can see there's also the displacement in the soil. So this is the seismic analysis of the building, the top of the building, all the points on the building. So Plexus is a great software in order for you to see uh, the displacement of, uh, of a structure on the soil and the soil interaction, soil structure interaction. So if you have good knowledge of the dynamic analysis and of Plexus, you can do uh, tons of stuff in Plexus. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. I respond as soon as possible. And thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one.